Hi there, Scorpio. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. I'm going to dive in and do a little bit of a deeper dive with a bunch of oracle decks and a bunch of tarot decks. Um, before I even turned the camera on, uh, I was getting like you are very much cared for, like you can relax now, like you have this lifelong um, protection and caring surrounded, surrounding you. Uh, you are very much cared for. Uh, spirit has your back uh, like more than you realize. So take a breath, relax, um, and enjoy this reading. Let's see what comes through. I'm going to pull one card from each of these decks and we'll see uh, what the messages are. You're very much cared for. That's the first thing that came through um, before before I even turned the camera on. Like your whole, throughout your whole lifetime, since the moment you arrived at your birth to the moment you leave this earth, uh, you are loved. You are very much cared for. A lot of care here is what I'm getting. Uh, this fire energy. Okay, so there's something that you're passionate about. Maybe spirit is trying to push you forward into following your passion. Maybe you've been, maybe you felt a little bit frozen, like maybe frozen, not necessarily frozen in fear, but maybe isolated a little bit. Maybe you're isolating yourself and spirit is saying that just be gentle with yourself and and go forth. Do do what um do what you feel compelled to do because there's some sort of passion like it's a kind of like a hidden desire, maybe a desire that's been burning within you that you haven't yet shown the world. Like there's something you have to share with the world here. Oh, this joy card. Like, yeah, I feel like share your joy, share your passion um, by, by stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, you will, you know, feel that joy and also share that joy. Like there's something, there's some sort of information that you have that will um, help the world. Maybe you want to start a YouTube channel, something you have to share with the world to um, uplift not only yourself, but people around the world uh, is what I'm getting. Uh, we have number 19, Ooh, another 19, um, a spiritual practice. So 19 and 19, see, 19 adds up to a 10. You know, 10 is the cusp of an end and a beginning. I feel like you are ready to... Ready or not, you are at the point where it's time to step out of your comfort zone. If you have been delving into a spiritual practice that you want to share with the world, like something you're very passionate about, you know, it's time to um, put it out there. Um, publish your works, you know, write that book, start that channel um, or, or some sort of social media type Thing. If you, you share your philosophies because you will connect with like-minded people. Uh, we have number 20, the wind horse. Take a ride on the wind horse to offer prayers for well-being and good fortune. Yeah, see, you have the ability to help others. Um, you are very much cared for. And because of that, you're very caring to others. You know, and it's time to share that caring. You know, connect with nature. Connect with like-minded people. Feel like there's... A lot of new connections that spirit wants to guide you to. And it will happen naturally. You know, this number 20, this two, two is like about partnerships, connections, people that are, um, people that you can uplift, people that you can help along your journey. Uh, we have center. Yeah, it's time for this. I feel like you've come to a point in your life where, you're prepared to share like it's a whole new cycle. I mean, if we look at this particular card, it's like all the uh, moon cycles, you know, like there's you've completed a cycle. Now it's time you've learned everything you can learn. You are centered. You are grounded. Now it's time to share that energy, share that 
um, passion. Share that vitality uh, is what I'm getting here. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? Oh, we have the stairs. Uh, it says, are you rising to the top? Uh, it may feel like a slow journey, but taking one step at a time will get you to your goal. Sometimes it may feel like a difficult climb, but the path will get you closer to your spiritual awareness. Continue on your slow but steady pace and your objective will be reached. Each step will bring you closer to heaven. Yeah, it's like the stairs. I feel like you are, you're definitely supported every step of the way. From the time you arrived here, um, be, you know, from the time you came down them, those stairs to, you know, enter the earth plane to the time you rise back up and then return to uh, the heavens here. Bottom of this deck, we have the star card. So you're definitely being supported and guiding and guided. Trust, trust in that. Uh, trust in your support here. Uh, we've got big, happy changes for you. So just keep going. Follow your light. Be open to receive um, what sh the information you're getting and share that information with others. Others are open to um, get guidance from your knowledge like you're growing in knowledge and it's time to share that knowledge uh nine of swords maybe it's been maybe it's been um challenging uh maybe i do feel like you know with the nines um nine we have these you know 19 here twice which adds up to a 10 i feel like we're coming to an end of maybe a challenging um, stage. Maybe it's been some of those stairs have been difficult to rise above, but we're at the point where we're almost there. Like, don't give up before the manifestation. Like, you've gone through trials and tribulations so you can share your experiences with others. Uh, bottom of this deck is the wheel of fortune that wanted to reveal itself so you're on the right path like destiny is unfolding for you keep going share your wisdom with others uh, is what i'm getting here uh five of wands yeah i feel like you've had a few like difficult steps maybe some missteps but that's okay we're meant to um overcome that to rise above it here bottom of this deck here also revealed itself seven of wands it's overcoming like having the upper hand learning from those experiences growing from those experiences so you're able to share those experiences with others uh ten of pentacles yeah you are meant to be blessed from these experiences like you are you're very much cared for and you know we do have times of when things are lean and when when things are abundant you know there are cycles in life you know there are um you know times when we feel full of health and wealth and vitality and there's other times where we feel like we you know are 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 tired and need rest and need restoration and it's all part of learning it's all part of life and that's what you're meant to share you're meant to yeah there's the confirmation you are meant to share your life's experiences your ups and downs and i feel like this four of wand energy is like will give you by sharing your experiences is going to um give you a sense of a newfound sense of well-being and the, the reasons like you will understand the reasons for your journey more when you you share your journey with others uh seven of pentacles yes your past your present and your future all have meaning um and it's time to share those experiences to help others grow um six of wands i love this it's like you are you have success at your fingertips keep going you are almost there to a brand new manifestation here things are about to shift and change for you uh the universe supports you cares for you protects you uh trust your instincts um leave behind um any feelings of um 
holding back like don't hold back is what I'm getting here set yourself free set your experiences free share your joys your sorrows your anxieties with those around you uh, through the World Wide Web write a book um, you speak your truth that you are meant to help people rise above their own challenges because that's what we're here for we're all human beings living you know living a soul life souls living a human life we're here to uplift each other help each other through um you know life's experiences we are you know you are cared for and it, you care for others is what i'm getting all right and our last um words of wisdom from the eternal light Oracle message is embrace the new. Life is a circle, a cycle of changing seasons. Let us welcome each new chapter and surrender the past with grace. Let us remember that nothing is ever truly lost, for all live on eternally in our hearts. Threads of love connect us all. No one and no thing are separate. Peace be with you. Bye now.